What, are you serious? No, I don't need cookies. No, 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 excuse me, Mr. Hubbers. What? You're my father. Here, this is, uh, this is for you. You know, you're the seventh child that's come to me. The seventh that's come claiming their inheritance. What, let me guess, you saw something on the news about Bitcoin? No. And you decided to come here and get your piece of the pie? Is that it? Oh, no, no, no. Look, honey. um... Oh. Yeah, bye, honey. What? Well, look, here. Here is my mother. She kept my father's identity a secret, but just before she died, she told me about you. Is that Linda? Yes. That's Linda, yeah, I remember. I remember that stupid hailbilly that didn't do what I told her to do. But I, I've always dreamed of finding you. I didn't need you. a child back then, and I don't need a child right now. It's your stupid mother's fault for, for keeping you. You know, I shouldn't have given her the money for the abortion. Money for what? Wait, you, you, you expect to, to come here after, after so many years and, and have me open my arms and say, Honey, you're back. Let's go for a pony ride. Let's get some ice cream and take some selfies. Are you still here? Are you still, get lost. Damn it! Damn it! I'm already down 110. Man, if this deal fails, I'll be bankrupt by happy hour. Damn it! Hello, Mr. Harris. Mr. Patterson, Mr. Patterson, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. You look fantastic. You look Thank amazing. You. Oh, I can't even tell that you were recently discharged. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Please have a seat, sir. Have a seat. Thank you. So you found no place okay? Yeah. So, Mr. Hunters, the Bitcoin king of the 21st century. That's right, that's me. I couldn't miss the opportunity to meet you. They say, money loves you. Yes, it does. Especially digital. Especially digital. The feeling, the love is mutual. I'm the king. And uh, with your investment... Mr. Patterson, can you just give me a second, please? Just one, I... Excuse me, one minute. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, what, what, you decided to follow me now? Huh? Is that it? Tell me! I've been working here for a long time. You're a liar. You're, you're lying to me. Jeez. I've got an important meeting there. So don't even think about coming close to my table. Or I'll ruin you. I'll destroy you. Don't, don't come near and, and ruin it with your soap opera about finding my daddy. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> you're, you're a waitress. You're trash, <laughs> what a stupid job. Obviously you're not of my blood. <laughs> like your mother, trash. Stay away. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Mr. Mr. No Pelsen. problem. I'm sorry, uh, where were we? That's right. Yes, I'm the king. I'm the king and I can make you an emperor. I've got a business plan laid out for you. I'd like to show it to you. Please, take a look. It's all there in black and white. Yeah, interesting. As you can see, the profit margins are way, way, way up if we follow it. It's all there. By the way, Mr. Herbers, I wanted to clear up the rumors. Rumors? Everyone knows you started your company with a partner. So, what happened to him? According to the press, you left your friend with nothing. Mr. 
Mr. Patterson, you're a very wise man. Very wise and a very shrewd businessman. What that was, that's a story about a very greedy man. He was consumed by his greed. So much so that I, I couldn't take it anymore. So we had to go our separate ways. It's as simple as that. You know that in business, intuition is everything. And I follow my intuition. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here with you today. But still, it's surprising that a Bitcoin millionaire is in need of outside investment. <laughs> you know, sir, it might seem that way. But I'm not just looking for money. I'm looking for reliable partners to start a revolution in the cryptocurrency business. A revolution. Do you want to lead a new world? Do you want to be an emperor? Yes. What he needs is a doctor, not a waitress and a stupid menu. Now get lost! Get away. Do, do not interfere. I know what I'm this doing. This guy is, is my payday. He's gonna save me from financial ruin. So you better not- Please call an ambulance. of the chest, in the middle, 30 pushes in the depths of two inches. Right. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Oh, one more time. One, two, three. Oh, yours. Come here, help me. What? Here. How, did, how, did you, how did you do that? You did that so perfectly. What? How, how did you know how to do that? I work as a pathetic waitress to pay my way through the medical college. Well, well done. Check the ambulance. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, that was amazing. That was amazing. You're obviously in my blood. You, you, you saw an opportunity and you, you grabbed it. You grabbed it. Uh, Listen, I'm um, gonna ask you to do something for me. Um, Get him to sign this contract. You know, uh, you saved his life. He'll do anything for you, absolutely anything. So you get him to sign this, and uh, I promise I'll pay for all your medical studies. That's it, right up to like, graduation. What do you say? You know that once I've dreamed of a father who will treat me like a real daughter? Right. Because every girl needs a father, right? Absolutely. Yeah, the one who loves her, the one who, who will find time with no excuses. Mm -hmm. But I, I was wrong. I've achieved everything by myself, and I don't need you anymore. I don't need your help. Actually, I don't need your company, your fancy suits, and your fake smile. I, I'd rather work as a waitress for the rest of my life than take a pen from you. You know what? You're an idiot. You're a stupid idiot like your hillbilly mum. Yeah, you, you know what? You're gonna be cleaning garbage off the floors for the rest of your life, and I'm gonna do everything in my power that you never, ever become a doctor. Ever! Peter! I've heard enough. I don't see myself doing business with you in the future. I found a better investment. 
Mr. Patterson, you, you didn't understand the conversation properly. I think you might have misheard something, misunderstood. It's, it's, it's not what you think it's, we were j That's screw you and your stupid contract. You know what, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, you're just a stupid idiot. Businessman, huh? You think you're such a cool businessman, you're nobody. And I'm, uh, very sorry that our business didn't work out. Now you're trash, all of you. You're trash. All right. Bless you. Goodbye. Sorry, miss. Take your time. Um, yes? Here, take it. I'm investing in the best medical university in the country. So I think the money shouldn't be a problem for such a talented doctor. You save me today. In the future, you may save someone else. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need some help or is No, thanks. I'm all right. Hi, it's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit 2 million subscribers and now we really need your help. Like, share this video and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care and see ya!